I love pancakes. They are like a big, fluffy breakfast bear hug in the morning. But being fluffy doesn't always cut it. They've gotta have depth. They've gotta have big, bold flavor, and they've gotta be topped with something special. Ladies and gentlemen, we are making sourdough pancakes with maple molasses strawberries. Sourdough starter is essentially wild yeast, not to be confused with the active dry yeast that you buy in the packets. The thing about sourdough starter is you scoop out and discard a portion of the starter and then you feed it with more flour and more water. I couldn't bear to discard a portion of it every time I fed it. And eventually I had six sourdough starters. So of course, naturally, I named them after the Brady Bunch kids. I posted that on Instagram and believe it or not, Eve Plum, who played Jan in the Brady Bunch, called dibs on my Jan name starter. Eve, if you are watching this, this video and this recipe is dedicated to you. We are gonna get to the starter in a minute. Like I said, I love pancakes that are topped with something extra, extra special. And in this case, we're gonna be working with some strawberries. Clearly, it is not strawberry season. So what I like to do when they're not in season is I cook with them. We want to get our steeping mixture ready. Into a saucepan, we are gonna go in with one cup of pure maple syrup. Catskill Mountains, that's where I live. I also like this one because it has a little tiny handle on it. I love a little handle. To the maple syrup, we are gonna add a quarter cup of unsulfured molasses. Two tablespoons of unsalted butter. And then just to sort of enhance all of those amazing flavors, we're gonna go in with a pinch of kosher salt. And we got pitter patter all around of little Millie. Millie, do you like pancakes? Do you want pancakes? Do you want pancakes? <laughs> You love pancakes. <laughs> all right, back to this. We want to cook this mixture to sort of melt all that butter and get it nice and bubbling. And in the meantime, we are gonna prep our strawberries. There's a couple ways that you can hold strawberries. Of course, you can take a little paring knife and sort of scoop it out, or you can use my mad genius tip, an everyday drinking straw. We are gonna insert the straw right into the bottom of the strawberry until it pops out the hole. I'm gonna go ahead and speed racer, get all these hold as quickly as possible. So if they're small or medium, like this guy here, you are just gonna cut them in half, like that. But if they're really big, like this guy here, you might wanna cut these into thirds or quarters. Once you've got your strawberries prepped and your molasses mixture is sort of bubbling, it's time to go in with those strawberries. Gently add them in so they don't splash everywhere. All in there, you're gonna give them a little bit of a stir. Let's cut off the heat and cover them to keep them warm. And it's time to get started on those sourdough pancakes. Today, we're cooking with Marsha. Just like a lot of baking projects, we are going to combine our dry ingredients and our wet ingredients separately. So into a large bowl, we're gonna add one and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. Next up, we are incorporating whole wheat flour, which believe it or not, is what I feed Marsha. So into the bowl. To that, we're gonna add three tablespoons of granulated sugar. In addition to the sugar, we are gonna add two teaspoons of baking powder and one and a half teaspoons of kosher salt. And then give that a good whisk. And we're gonna pop this off to the side and get those wet ingredients mixed. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna beat a couple large eggs and we're gonna go ahead and beat in one and a quarter cups of whole milk to our egg and milk mixture. We're gonna add a little bit of Marsha. Actually, not a little bit of Marsha, we're gonna add a lot. We're adding one whole cup of the sourdough starter. You either take a whisk or a fork and just give Marsha a little mix. Scoop it out and into the bowl. Put the lid on Marsha and let's whisk this together. We need three tablespoons of butter. It needs to be melted. This butter is not melted. Oh gosh, what do I do? Check that out. Let's incorporate that into our mixture. Time to introduce our dry ingredients and our wet ingredients. So we're gonna go ahead and pour these in and then just give it a good mix. You don't want it to be totally smooth. A few clumps in there is totally fine. One of the things you'll notice right away when you mix this together is that sourdough starter is just like smacking in the face with like the most incredible aroma. Okay, the pan is nice and hot, so we're gonna just add a little bit of butter to grease it. 
We are gonna go ahead and scoop either heaping quarter cups or maybe a scant third cup. You're gonna scoop as many pancakes into your pan or onto your griddle as you can fit without letting them touch each other. They're gonna cook for anywhere from one to two minutes. You just wanna cook them until they get little bubbles on the surface and then it's time to flip them. All right, these look like they are ready. So we're gonna go ahead and give them a flip. Oh, that was the first one I scooped. And just like the first slice of pie, the first pancake is always the ugliest. One, maybe two more minutes on the other side. They are ready to come out and then we're gonna go ahead and make another round. All right, round two coming up. Till the one day when the flour met the water and they knew it was much more than a hunch that this mixture would somehow form a starter that's the way the two became the sourdough bunch. Yeah. Oop, that's a, got a hot spot. All right, these coming out. One more batch for you here. I believe a short stack is three pancakes. I'm gonna go rogue and do four. Look at that. Oh yeah. All right, we cannot forget the other star of this show, those maple molasses strawberries. This is heaven. Yes! Time to eat. Looking good from all angles. Every angle is fluffy, but like I said, fluffy does not always cut it. So let's see how it tastes. I don't know what to do but smile because it is so flavorful. I'm gonna take one more bite. Mmm! The pancakes are like the perfect level of sour. The strawberries are outrageous. They have picked up a little bit of that molasses and maple flavor. I mean, they are the perfect pair for these pancakes. I am definitely feeling the pancake love right now. I mean, this recipe is next level and I cannot wait to hear what you think. And I'm talking about you, Eve. 